Yo, what's up? It's Megan L. Hoy, and today we're going to give our body much needed rest, recovery, and mobility with this full body mobility flow workout. We're going to open up through our back, through our hips, through our glutes, our shoulders, our arms, all that good stuff, all right? We're going to take care of the entire body. Now, as we get into this, pay very close attention to any weaknesses you may feel, and don't beat yourself up if you can't get everything perfect. We're just here to practice. Let's bring it down to the floor, and we'll start off with cat-cow, hands on your shoulders, knees on your hips, inhale up, spine comes down, exhale, spines up, head down, let's go. Take your time, bring it all the way low, and up, nice and graceful, we're not just jamming our body up and down, but we get some mobility through our back here, and our hips, a little bit in our neck. Flow along with your breath. Oh, that feels so good. From here, we're gonna go bird dog. So we're gonna bring our left arm up and we're gonna shoot our right foot back. We're gonna squeeze through our glutes and our shoulders as we do so, bracing through that core. Bring it in, inhale up. Squeeze through the shoulder blades, exhale. I like the nice flex foot, that way I'm kicking through the glutes. If this is too much for you, you can place your hand and your feet down on the floor and reach it up. Nice. Great way to open up through that back body and through that core. Bring it down. From here, we're going for elbow threader. So now, we're going to get some rotation through our spine, a little bit through our hips. We're going to take the left hand, place it on our ear, and we're going to bring that elbow down towards our mat and raise up. Look up towards the sky, stretch through the back, and then all the way down. Now, this is what I struggle with. So I was saying earlier, if you can't get the exercises perfectly, don't beat yourself up. We're here to open up. We're here to practice. If we were just perfect, would we really need this? It'd just be a refresher. There we go. Just flowing through the body so we can get the whole orchestra to play together nice and smoothly. In down. Awesome. We're going bird dogs. This time, right arm forward, left leg back. Nice warm spine here, in in. Control, don't just drop everything. Ooh, feeling that heat, come on. Breathe it through. Great core work right here. And down. Great. Right elbow is going down and then all the way up as we go for elbow threaders. Some of the tough exercises are the one that we need the most. So I'm noticing I'm more tight on the other side than I am here, all right? Just take a note of that, and as we continue to practice through these movements, you'll notice them start to balance out a little bit more. So when we're doing certain rotational exercises, like a renegade threader, we have a similar movement, but that way we're building strength and mobility in this move. And this just ties it all together. Great. Down. From here, we're going for twisting child's pose. So we're going to come back into a nice, relaxing child's pose. And we're going to peek under our arm left and right. So bring those hips back, arms forward, fill in the spine, and then begin to turn and look. Left and right. Flow with their breath. Rolling into those shoulders, through those lats. Obliques a little bit, open up through the hips.
nice midweek rest. All the work we've been putting in this week. Give that body a break and show it some love right now. Awesome. From there, we're going for stack foot table thrust. Left leg is down. The right foot is going to be stacked on top. So I want you to start with a glute stretch, hands behind, and we're going to bring it up, hips up, relax it down. In up. Squeeze through those glutes. Hips open up more as we come down. You can do this with your hands on the floor and your upper back down on the floor as well. That works better for you as a modification. Keep those hips, keep those hips even as you come down. Squeeze through those traps on the way up and then down. From here, we're going for alternating bridge reaches. So our back is on the floor now. We're going to bridge up. So bridge it up and we're gonna reach over, up and towards our right, then towards our left. We keep that bridge and over. Bring it in. Good, so you're gonna feel those hips shifting over. You're gonna feel your back working. Your shoulders. Ah your lats, and of course your abs and glutes. Come on, one more over. <sighs> Bring it in. Woo! That was some core work right there. From here, we're going for stack, foot table thrust. We're going to place the left leg on top and work with the right leg. So get it in place first, hands back, let's go. Squeeze. Give it a reverse tabletop, bring it down. And up. Whew. Practice makes progress. Whew. And down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Whew. And relax. Whew. Nice. Okay, let's go for a nice spinal massage. We're going with happy babies as we open up through the hips. Rock if you have the balance for it. Legs up, open up through those knees, grab on the side of the feet. We're gonna open up those legs like a book, pulling the knees down and rock. Good, just massaging our spine into that mat as we open up through the hips here. Continue to pull down. We're getting a very light bicep stretch here as well. As we pull down and open up. We almost toppled over there. Good, bring it in. We're gonna go for dead bugs. So we're gonna do a laying tabletop. So opposite hand, opposite leg goes out, bring it in. So think about kind of a reverse bird dog. Bring those knees back up to 90-90. Control through the core, through the shoulders, through the glutes, quads, as we extend it out, hamstrings, and bring it in. Let's go. Hold the breath with the movement. Great. All right, let's go for spinal hip twist. So we can have our knees bent or our legs straight. We're gonna start with knees bent, so just bring it over towards the side, shifting through those hips, then up and over. You want to go more advanced, extend those legs all the way up. It's going to engage more through your core and bring it down to the side, up and over. Control all the way through. Whew. 
I need this through my obliques. Great back stretch. And bring it in. Great. We're going for kneeling shoulder twist. So we're kind of going to do the opposite side of the body, a similar movement. So I'm going to step back onto my mat. I'm just going to roll that shoulder in and down, up and towards the other side. Roll it out. I'm going to pretty fast tempo today. You're going to slow it down if needed. And over. Abs still working. There we go. All right, we're going for rocking best stretch. One of my favorite mobility exercises. But best stretch is one of my favorite stretches, period. So bring it back and rock. Legs forward and up. Down, rock it back. We're nice and open right now, so we can approach this with grace. And back. If you can't extend all the way back, just come back semi, or just shift with your legs stand on the ground into a best stretch. One more. And down, great. Iso kneeling hinge squats. So right leg is out, left knee is down, hands on our hips. We're just gonna hinge back and bring it up. Don't flex through the spine of bend. You want a nice flat back as we hinge back and bring it up. Excellent hip opener here. It's gonna help us when we go for our squats. We're isolating the legs, so we're feeling for any kind of weaknesses. And back. Excellent hip opener as well. And ain't that core cool working? Come on. Push that butt back. Strong back. And up. Adductors are working all up in here. All right, we're going to go for iso kneeling threaders. So. Similar position, we're gonna reach under and up through the spine. That's tough for me, right? So you can't come all the way up. Just bring it to the side. There we go. Got a little yellow arm. <clears throat> and down. All right. Let's go for a downward dog squat. It's exactly what it sounds like. So, hands a little slippery. Meet me in down dog. Arms are forward. And we're just going to squat back. And bring it up. Extend those arms out. Nice. Each rep counts. To modify, you're going to come up to your elbows and do a downward dunk. dunk. <clears throat> come on. Hamstrings are working. Glutes are there. Back's getting involved. <clears throat> Just bring it down. All right, I'm starting to get a little bit of sweat. All right, we're going for iso kneeling hinge squats. This time, left leg is out. Right knee is bent. Back is flat. Let's go. Bring it back. And up. Let's go. Adjust as needed. And down. Take a bow. You're doing a great job. Congratulations on taking some time. 
to give your body some much needed care. We're going for a different type of challenge. It's still challenging, but it's a different type of challenge than we're used to. ISO kneeling threaders. We're doing opposite arm. So we're going to bring it down and up. Now, more mobile on my other side, but I'm still doing my best here, all right? And just taking note of that. And you may look into your daily habits and see where you're inhibiting yourself. I used to sit a lot, and when I did that, I was twisting to the side a lot. So one side's more open, when my hips shifted a little bit more, we we're working on all that good stuff. From here, we're going for plank, twist, squat back. So our feet are going to be together. You're going to hold a plank. Feet are together, and we're going to sit back into our seat. Bring it forward and back on the other side. Knees are close together. Squat it back. My back is loving this right now. This is my classify as a core workout, this entire workout together. So we are bracing and back. Dip those hips down. One more. Woo! That last one got me. Okay, let's bring our chest down to the floor. We're going for prone scapular swimmers. Good. So we're going to bring it up. Back, drop, raise the shoulder, show your scapula, and forward, down, up, lower, squeeze through the shoulder blades, and forward, drop, squeeze them up, drop, come on, we're getting our butterfly on. And up. Still working our core. I know, I know, I know. Drop. One squeeze. And down. Awesome. From here, we're going for alternating table hold taps. So you can leave your knees on the ground or pick them up. And we're going to go opposite hand forward as the opposite leg goes back. Hold that solid tabletop in control. Try to bring it in gracefully. It's going to take some core strength to do so. There we go. And back. There's that sweat. Come on, step through. And in. And in. Bring it down. Good. We're going for kneeling, T spine, pardon me, twist. Left leg is up, hands behind those ears. We're going to twist towards the left, bring it down, up and over, and twist. Yeah. Push those elbows back to the back of the room. Dip it down. It's tough right now on that core but it's gonna feel like a massage through your back and shoulders. Yeah. Come on. Flow with that breath, don't lose your breath. And down. Bring it to the front, shake it out. Pigeon push-ups. Left leg is gonna come forward and pigeon. So set it up. If the leg starts to come in, that's perfectly fine. Set your pigeon first, and then we're gonna walk it down into our push. And up. If you can bring your chest forward more, that's perfectly fine. Have to bend here myself. And squeeze. Down. Don't force yourself to come all the way down if you can't. This is about my range right about here. 
before I start having to put my back into it more than I need to. In down. Yeah. Nice. Downward dog pedals. So it's time for me to do the slip foot dance. Let's go. Left and right. Selfie foot's amazing right now. Calves are loving this, hamstrings are loving this, back, traps, shoulders, and down. From here, we're going kneeling, T-spine twist. We're going to bring that right leg up. Let's face the left first. Bring it down. Come on. Rotate. Up, dip, <clears throat> get those hips involved, keep that knee from rocking, knee is nice and sturdy in the front, <clears throat> underrated hip opener as we come down, <clears throat> don't pull in your neck, my hands on the side of my ears, really on my temples a little bit, yeah, turn to the front, bring it down. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Right foot's in front. Give me that pigeon. Where's the sweat coming from? It's coming from his work. Set it up. And just come down. If this is where you are, that's where you are, okay? I don't want you to have any anxiety, and I don't want you forcing your body into these movements. We're just here to practice, to acknowledge where we are in our movement patterns, and looking forward to improving over time, which is way better than looking forward to pain due to a lack of mobility as we age. All right, so if things aren't good now, it could always be worse. So let's just appreciate where we are. Awesome. From here, we're going for 90-90 shift twist, also known as Miguel Hoy's Achilles heel, <laughs> okay? My hips is something I'm always working on, so we're going to go ahead and shift, turn it over, bring it up, over, give me that 90-90 in turn. <clears throat> Come on, we're getting there, family. I've been practicing these, though. I'm way better than I used to be. <sighs> yes, it's going to require some core, some glute strength, some hip mobility and strength, <clears throat> some spinal mobility. That's what we're here to practice. And down. All right, we're going to go for 90-90 ISO external rotation lifts. So we're going to face the right. That way we're lifting with that left leg. You guys are going to get on more than mat. Make sure it's 90 and lift as high as you can get. It might not be that high. Mine feel way higher than they look. But squeeze it up. Control it down. Keep your chest up and up. Yeah. <sighs> Woo. We rarely work our gluteus medius like this, but it's so important. I can do a whole course on external rotation for your shoulders, for your hips, and just how good it is for all of the movements we do. But we're sneaking some in here for our mobility. Lift it up, <sighs> control it down, and smack it, rub it. <sighs> Whew. I'm going to smack it, flip it, rub it down. All right. We're going to go um, for 90-90 shift twist. Let's go towards the right, uh, left first this time. We did right last time. Bring it up and over. See, we're getting better in turn. Yeah. Try to keep those knees as 90 as possible. Up and over. If you need to modify, you can have your hands behind you 
Rotate through the hips, then bring it up like so. Or bring your hands off the ground, turn. Ah, one more. Yay! Okay, ISO 99 external rotation lifts. Right side, it's only right. Pun intended. <clears throat> Let's go. We're going to bring it up, lift, squeeze, and down. Now, one of these legs is going to have more rotation than the other. <sighs> so, so, I want you to squeeze from your gluteus medius right here as you lift, then control it down. Often underused muscle, but that and champion. We've been using gluteus medius a lot. Building that posture, correcting all that sitting. All right, final exercise. We're going into winding cat cow. We're going to start by winding towards the left, and then we're going to wind towards the right. So bring it down and just give me a nice scoop. Now, yeah, we might look funny, we might look a little crazy, but make sure. You bring your hips up as you rotate around, your spine down and up, rotating through your neck. But don't make it all about the neck. Sometimes when we rotate our neck a whole lot, it feels like we're rotating our spine more. Other side. Bring it through. Oh. Showing that spine some love. Almost there. Bring it down and bring it up. Give me that. Not a fist bump. Okay, we're going to do a warm up. <laughs> we got to do a cool down. So we're going to go into a cat cow. Got a little bit of a, ahead of myself there. <clears throat> Good. Inhale up. We're going traditional cat cow. Y'all never mind me. I'll take the cool down. Something felt different. All right, from here we're going for a side stretch. Hips back, left hand towards the left, right arm follows. Sorry, I'm trying to mirror differently now. <sighs> to be consistent when we're standing, let's roll hit it, bring it to the right. Hips are back and towards the left. Let's get that reverse wrist stretch. We spend a lot of time on our hands. So let's just reverse it out. I wonder how many of you all jumped up for that fist bump with me. <laughs> Was I the only one who got a little bit of cardio, a little bit of hit? That's kind of a burpee, right? World's best stretch on the left. Bring the left leg up. <clears throat> We're going to bring the left arm up. It's going to take me a while to get used to the proper mirroring again. Let's go to the other side. Right leg's up, bring it up. Even though we're stretching, it's still good to cool down. I once did a crazy stretch boot camp and my back was hurting for like three days because we still didn't cool down. So just wind everything down, we're gonna go for a glute stretch. <clears throat> we're gonna bring the left heel on top of the right knee, exhale through, clasp the fingers, we're gonna pull the right knee in, Push the left knee forward, and this feels amazing. I like to add rocks, happy baby rocks to my glute stretch. I feel like I get deeper in there, and also on the side of my back. So let's go, other side. Reach through, clasp your fingers, rock it out. All right, from here we're gonna pull our knees in, or you can hug them. Open up, reach through, <clears throat> grab a hold, pull it in, happy baby. Feeling nice and open right now. 
All right, final move for now, for real. And we're just going to let our spine settle. A little baby Shavasana. Feel nice, limber and mobile. And relax. All right. First fist bump was a drill. This is the real deal. Bring it up. Give me that fist bump and boom. Fist bump, way to rock it in this workout. Way to take time to take care of your bodies. And as I said, look, there usually is a lot of anxiety when it comes to mobility, when it comes to yoga, when it comes to stretching, because you're looking the devil right in the face. You're like, I can't move this way. I can't get down that far. And sometimes it's really, for lack of a better term, humiliating um, to, to face that. But once you're able to acknowledge some of the areas where you need to improve, now you know where to work on. Now you can start remedying those things. And we've gone our whole life to get to this point. So now we're going to improve. We're going to reduce pain. Um, we're going to feel better and more free in our bodies. And that's what this is all about. All right, so don't beat yourself up. If you're still working, you see me right here on camera in front of everybody improving myself as well, all right? So shout out to you all for bringing it with today's workout, taking this time to improve as we go throughout our day, healthy food in our stomach, healthy things in our heart relationships, and healthy things in our mind, mental health over every single thing else. So we come back again and crush it. It's Megan L. Hoy. Take care and peace out.